What's up, everybody? So let's talk about Carly Russell. So y'all yeah, know I made several videos about Carly Russell. It literally was a mini series because that's how many videos I made about Carly because something new was coming out almost every other day about Carly. So y'all know Carly faked her kidnapping and she said that she saw a young child on the side of the road while driving down the busy, busy highway. And that all turned out to be a lie. I mean, the lie was so crazy. It was just crazy, okay? I was really disappointed in Carly with her lying like she did because of the fact that there are so many other black women who have been abducted and have not been found. So I felt like that was a slap in the face for her to lie like that when there's other black women out there who have not been found at all. So it was a big, big disappointment in my opinion. And this video is not going to be that long. If you want to catch up on this whole situation and the videos I made, go check out my videos. I made like 50 11 videos about Carly Russell so y'all can go and check those out so we're going to get into this article so it says Carly Russell found guilty and faked Hoover abduction judge recommends year in jail and eighteen thousand dollars in restitution Carly Russell 26 was found guilty by a Hoover Municipal Judge on today of faking her own abduction. The ruling came after Russell pleaded not guilty to charges of false reporting to law enforcement authorities and falsely reporting an incident. Despite her plea, Municipal Judge Brad Bishop found her guilty based on the recommendation of state prosecutors. Bishop recommended one year in jail and $17,874 in restitution. He also recommended two fines of $831 each. In municipal courts, there is no jury trial. The Constitution allows anyone who faces jail time to have their case heard and decided by a jury of their peers. Bishop explained that often defendants will appeal his verdict to Jefferson County Circuit Court to take the case to a jury trial. Russell, represented by attorneys Emory Anthony and Richard Joffe, or Joff, is appealing the, to the circuit court. Anthony said following Wednesday's hearing, they are appealing the verdict because state prosecutors want Russell to serve jail time. There is no need of having a trial here, knowing their position, Anthony said. We have stipulated and appealed the case, and it will start anew in the Bessemer Circuit Court. Anthony said Russell's legal team completely disagrees with jail time for a Class A misdemeanor, especially when it's Russell's first offense. If you can find where someone was put in jail for that, bring the file to me and I'll look at it, he said. Generally, they're not put in jail. Restitution, we don't disagree with that, but to lock her up and put her in jail, we disagree, he said. Russell was clearly nervous in courts on Wednesday as she stood before the judge. Nervous is anyone that goes before a judge, Anthony said. I think she understands what has happened. She has apologized. I don't want her to have to break down, he said. So we're handling her with kid gloves and making sure her mental state is just fine. Asked why she did it, Anthony said that's something that will eventually come to light. We're dealing with issues with Carly and we want the best for Carly, Anthony said. We realize a mistake was made, but we don't want to just pile on right now. The lawyer said he believes the amount of restitution sounded fair, given the resources expanded during the search. Anthony said he doesn't know if more charges will be filed, but said the defense was invited by the attorney general's office to speak before a grand jury. They declined. Asked where she was... During the 49 hours that she was missing, Anthony said, I think we'll have to ask the AG's office. 
the AG's office, I don't think it being compassionate, he said. They know the young lady was not off on a whim. They knew the young lady was not off with some young man. So they know that. And that's the end of the article. And truth be told, I do feel like she needs to be punished for her actions. I even said that in some of my other videos as well, because this is a serious offense, right? And if more people get punished because of lies like this, hopefully it will lessen the chance of other people to tell lies such as this. Because let's not forget Sherry Papini. I mentioned Sherry Papini in one of my other videos. That was the, the woman of no color who lied about being kidnapped when she was with her side piece while her husband was at home taking care of the kids. And Sherry was put in prison too, which she should have as well. And so the fact that they said that they wanted to handle Carly with kid gloves when she is a 26-year-old woman is crazy to me. If you do the crime, you got to do the time. Now, if Carly was diagnosed with some kind of mental issue, I might give her a slide, but no, she was not and she has not been and she has not really came out and told the full reason. But we already know the reason why she did all this was because of that boy that she was with. She wanted to grab his attention because he was with somebody else. Crazy, crazy reason, right? So what do y'all think about Carly Russell being found guilty and being charged and now facing one year in jail and having to pay about $18,000 in restitution? Y'all know what y'all gotta do? Comment down below, let me know your thoughts. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe to my channel, share this video, like this video, and y'all know what y'all gotta do. Stay tuned for the next video. Bye.